everybody. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, uh, a little bit of an update. Uh, you know I was uh, thinking about going with seasons and turning seasons on. And I did that. I did turn it on. And it just looks to me like there's just way too much wasted time. Uh, you're skipping through days and months and and uh, no, uh, I think we can we can farm this farm uh, and we can kind of simulate uh, winter time. But uh, you know, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get these fields planted and we'll get on with what uh, what you guys like to see. Uh, so, uh, without clowning around too much longer, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this guy started. Uh, I've already got him programmed in to run on course play. He's going to plant uh, a canola. So let's pull the small HUD up. We got a temporary course in there. First waypoint. And let's tell him to go to work. Now he's going to start on the center rows first. So. We'll just watch him see where he goes. Make sure he gets started correctly. Uh, we would have gotten started earlier this morning. Uh, but it was raining. It was raining on the farm. So. <laughs> yeah. And yes. Uh, some of you are going to say you can plant when it's raining. Yes, I'm well aware of that, but uh, I try not to uh, if I don't have to. And, uh, you know, it just, you know, it just makes it look a little more realistic uh, to the best that we can do. Uh, Nobody, no farmer gets in the field when it's raining and planting and stuff like that. I mean, yes, if you've got just a little bit more to go and it starts to sprinkle a little bit, they'll try to finish it. But if it's pouring down rain and it's been raining all night, no, they don't get in the field. You know. So, uh, that's where we're at. All right. Now these fields are big. Uh, I think, as I had told you once before, we took and we plowed some fields together. Uh, when we are farming 3,861 acres. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a bunch. So, uh, Almost every one of my fields are 320 acres plus. So we should get we should get a lot of farming action here, a lot of big commercial farming action. So as of right now, we do not have a field uh, with crops growing in it. We don't have any. Every one of our fields needs to be planted. And, uh, <laughs> yes, then we'll have to wait for them to grow. So, we are going to be planting, uh, I think I said earlier, in this field, we're going to be planting canola. But in the fields uh, in front of us, the ones that's farther away from home, we're going to be planting mustard, buckwheat, stuff like that in. So, uh, yes. 
uh, I think uh, we're going to find that mustard and buckwheat, it takes a long time for it to grow. So, you know, that's, uh, that, you know, we can probably, I don't know, we may be able to plant two crops in these fields closer to the house uh, before winter hits, but we'll see. But for right now, uh, we'll just play it by ear. Uh, like I said, this is big commercial farming. There's a lot of, a lot of planting and a lot of harvesting going to be done. So we're just going to wait for this guy to get up here and see where he's going to start, make sure he's going to start correctly. I've got him set uh, to do two headland passes. Uh, he'll make smooth turns on his headland passes. So, yeah. But he's going to start on the up and down rows first. So, and then we'll come in and we'll touch up the corners like I always do. Uh, that's no big deal. Alright, looks like that right there is where he's going to start. We should start unfolding. Yep, looks like he's going to. Very good. Now, since we've been on this map, Red River, Manitoba, uh, we have not planted anything. So this is the first planting that we're doing on the map. We've spent all this time getting the fields harvested, get them, getting them prepared and uh, ready for planting. So this is the first planting that we're doing. So let's jump out and let's see where we're at. And it looks like we're right where we want to be. Good deal. All right, well, we've got another planter. We'll get him started over here in the other field and I'll get right back with you. All right, now we've got this second tractor in the field. He's also going to be planting uh, canola. So, yep, he's reaching his waypoint, which is right there. Good deal. Holding his tool. Great. All right. And he is off. Very good. Yes, we do have stones in this field. Even though I have them turned off, uh, they were on here whenever we bought the field. And yeah, uh, I just haven't picked them up. Not sure I will. As long as they don't hurt anything. Alright, let's get a jump out and we'll check the field and see where we're at. Looks like we've got, huh, I don't, this ain't right. 
All right, let's go up here and shut this guy down. This ain't going to get it. That ain't going to get it. Now, I have no idea why. The, uh, the yield bonus, uh, yeah, I don't know. And 50% fertilized? No, I don't understand. All right, well, I'll tell you what we will do. Uh, we'll come in here because this thing, maybe we have to change the ground texture. I thought I did that, but maybe I did not. All right. Uh, let's fold this up. And we'll just put him in the field next to us and we'll get a tractor in here and let him uh, cultivate this field and see if we can get a better uh, a yield rate. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's just not going to get it. All right, well, I'll get back with you whenever we get down here. All right, we've got this guy started in another field, which is no problem. <laughs> we have a bunch of fields that need to be planted, so, and they all need, they've all got to be planted. So, it's not like this guy is not going to be doing anything. All right, so now let's jump out. And let's go over here and check. And there's where we're supposed to be. 98%, 100% fertilized. All right. Well, we'll go over and we're going to get a guy cultivating that field over there. And uh, we'll tr change the ground texture. And that's about all we can do to it. Uh, I think that one field was bare whenever we bought it. So it probably did not... Uh, it probably did not get uh, mulched or anything. So, anyway, we can only do what we can do. The second planting will be better. So, we'll get a cultivator in there and we'll get it started. I'll get back with you here in just a few minutes. All right. Well, we've got the cultivator over here. Let's get this guy programmed in. All right, first thing we want to do is clear the current course in that tractor. And we want to create a job for him. Right there. Generate the course. Uh, we only have one tool. We want two headlands. Start on the headland first with a sharp corner. All right. We're generating the field work course. All right. Now, we got a temporary course start, first waypoint. Tell him to go to work. We'll make sure he gets down here and gets started where he's supposed to. Looks like he is. Now, I, I am fairly sure that this guy did not need to 
we don't need to change the ground texture on this ground that we're on right now but the fact that I plowed these fields together uh, the one up there uh, that we started planting where we started planting uh, that's the one we need to change the ground texture in and uh, beans uh, they're plowed together then it's all one big field now so whenever we program course play to do it it's gonna do the whole field so all right well uh, we'll go see about getting a, a small planter and start doing the corner uh, corners and uh, you know doing the touch-up work so I'll get back with you here in just a few minutes all right well we've done three corners and we'll get this corner and we did the uh, the in row uh, down at the other end and we'll do this in row and uh, All right, let's get this. And this is just how I do it. You know, you do not have to do this if you don't want to. There is not a problem. I miss that pole. <laughs> This is just how I do it, you know, and and that's all it is. It's just my way. I'm kind of one of these guys that I just don't like any holes in my field, places that did not get planted. And uh, I know I can probably adjust uh, the planter where it won't do that uh, but why I mean it doesn't take long to come in here and do this and uh, that's just the way I do it you may choose to do it a different way which is yeah, absolutely fine you know there's no right way or wrong way. Just your way, however you want to do it. Alright, but this is how I usually do it. And that way, whenever the planter makes the smooth turn, uh, everything will get planted won't be no holes all right now let's go down here to the other side and we'll get uh, we'll get the in rows again uh, it's just merely what I do uh, the reason for it is because that planter, well, you'll see whenever I get down here. Uh, let's let him make his turn and get headed back up. We don't want to interfere with him. Alright, you see how jagged this end row is? Sometimes, whenever he comes through and does his headland passes, some of that will get skipped. And we don't want that. Like I said, uh, that's just a personal preference of mine. I just do not want any holes left in my field. Period. So, this is what I do to prevent it. 
I will plant right straight across this field. And that way nothing will get skipped. There'll be no holes. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, and that's just one of my deals. But it gets the job done, and like I said, there's no right way or wrong way. There's your way, you know. And that's all that counts, is your way. All right. Well, I'll get back with you when we get just a little farther along. Uh, our guy over there uh, is uh, cultivating. He's doing a good job. Both planters are doing a good job. So, absolutely. All right, well, like I said, I'll get back with you in a few moments. All right. Well, we've got all the corners touched up and the, the headlands, so now it's all about letting these guys finish getting it planted and uh, let our guy, other guy over there that's doing the cultivating, let him get done where we can get that field planted. And I would say that uh, we're, we're well on our way now. We've got a lot of planting to do. <laughs> a lot of planting. So, anyway. I'll get back with you here in just a few moments. All right, looks like our guy doing the cultivating is coming right on across the field. <laughs> oh, yeah. It won't take him long and he'll have it, have it done. Uh, again, I guess that's my bad. I thought I had the... I thought I had that cultivated, but evidently I did not. But that's all right, we'll get it done now. Uh, we had a lot of fields that we were trying to take care of, and I can see overlooking it. Absolutely. Great job. All right, well, I'll get back with you in just a few moments. All right. Well, uh, on our first field, uh, this guy has just started his headland passes. And, uh, yeah, he is. He came right across this field. I mean, didn't waste no time at all. All right. Very good. All right, it looks like our guy that's over there uh, doing the cultivating. He's doing a good job. Very good. Now we can go check on our other guy planting, see how far along he is. All right, looks like he's still on his up and down rows, but uh, he kind of got a late start. So uh, that was our fault, my fault. But it looks like he's he's gaining on it. He's got oh a couple of more up and down rows to do, and he'll start his headland passes. So very good. All right. Well, I'll get back with you here in just a few moments. We we'll get a little farther along. All right. Well. Everything is coming along just great. 
Uh, this guy is on his last headland pass, which, I mean, this will be a completed field here in just a little while. Uh, the other one will also be completed in a very short time uh, because he's coming right along, getting ready to start his headland passes. He'll have two of them to do, just as this guy did. This guy is on his last one. So, everything is looking real good. Uh, we're off to a good start. Uh, this time of the year, it's all about getting the fields planted. And then there'll come a, a time when it's all about getting the fields harvested. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, but anyway, uh, I think we're going to call this a video. Uh, don't forget to go down and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, and I hope you've liked this content. Uh, if you know someone that you'd like to share it with, please do. Uh, let them follow us on our big commercial farming and uh, hopefully they'll enjoy it. Hopefully they'll pick up some tips. Maybe there's something that I do that uh, you can use uh, in your farming operations. If so, please do it. Uh, but I also wanted to say in the same breath that the way I do things is merely just that just the way I do things. It may or may not be the right way. Uh, you know, it's just merely my way. And uh, that's, that's what you have to do, is you have to make your farm your farm. Nobody else's farm. You're the one that's farming it. So uh, you do it your way. But anyway, as a dirt road farmer, I think we're going to call it a day. And as always, thank you for watching.